What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Kid. Kid Face with Kid Face Autographs. Just want to do a video. Never done a video on my prized possession. This bad boy right here. It's taken me many years to accomplish. Uh, probably 10 years, maybe more. It's been a long journey. There's only another one that's uh, better than mine, at least in my opinion, because I'm not a hater. Uh, from the Hernandez family. Theirs is nice, very nice. Um, it's been a lot of road trips, a lot of headaches, a lot of, but at the end of the day, it's been worth it. I have a lot of people on here, old, young, Retired disease from Maury Wills to Tommy Lasorda, Don Newcomb, Bobby Castillo, you know, superstars on here. I even got Koufax, Kirk Gibson, Hershizers. Bam, Kid Face is out this one. I finally brought the bad boy out of retirement and I added uh, Diego Cartea yesterday right here in the corner. Um, right there um i just have a feeling he's going to be something solid and um you know after doing this project for so many years it's, it feels good to have something like this so not because of the value but just the stories behind you know i've had many players um trip out on the jerseys you know the great composition Matter of fact, one of those days was yesterday at the Diego uh, Cortea signing. You know, some of these agents, they see players and all kinds of stuff throughout the days, weeks, months, years. And uh, I had uh, one of the agent guys approach me. He was just tripping out like, man, that's a bad, badass jersey. And, you know, that feels good to tell stories. And they want to, you know, they ask different type of questions and uh all that good stuff, so, and, uh, people keep asking me, why don't you frame and retire it, like, nah, there's still a lot of room on here, it's just, lately, I've been more, uh, you know, kind of picky on who I want to put on here, because it just seems like the, the game of baseball has changed, and, you know, players come and go so fast, and, so I want to try to, keep it to a minimal or, you know, someone that I think might be staying on the team for a while or be a decent player. And obviously you can see the custom bobblehead that I had made right here. My cousin uh, made that for me. PB Bobbles 818. If you guys are interested in something, always hit him up. Um, but I had him recreate the famous pose with the jersey. You know, it's gotten me on the news, social media. Uh, it's been on different platforms, it's been shared, it's been discussed about, I mean, just so many things, you know. And I wanted to recreate it uh, into the bobble, as you guys can see, did an amazing job with the detail, even the, the little autographs on the jersey, you know, to the actual, you know, bad boy right here. Um, you know, when I started putting this together, it wasn't about money or anything. I just said project, had fun with it, and it just I stuck with it. Uh, but I do have some signatures on here that have been very, very difficult to get. Uh, Wes Parker is one of those guys, which is up there by Puig on the left-hand corner. And there's other guys on here, obviously. Uh, but man, when I got him, it felt good, you know, because obviously he was... Part of an important part of the Dodgers uh, organization back in the days. I got Peter O'Malley on here. He's over there next to Diego, Mike Sosha, Brett Butler. I can honestly tell you and go through each signature in here. And I remember just about every single one and where I got it signed at. Um, most people would be like, oh man, that's too much work. But you know what? Hard work pays off. And because of the hard work. It's put me at where it's at. And we'll see where it takes me pretty soon and who I add next. But appreciate you guys for tuning in to Kid Face Autographs and Kid Face TV. I'm out this one. Ta da! The world famous Kid Face.